The recipe I chose to transcribe was a Simnel cake from the McQueen Family Cookbook. The recipe comes from the My Recipe Cookbook, which the McQueen family used while living in Scotland during the 1800s. The author of this recipe uses specific diction to tell the cook, predominantly woman during this time period, the exact measurements of each ingredient needed for this cake. Some of the specific measurements used are cups, teaspoons, and pounds to let the cook know how much of each ingredient to add to the cake. Author also uses a specific format in which she informs the readers of how to make the Simnel cake. First, she lists the ingredients for the cake and for the paste at the top of the page. Then she goes into detail in two paragraphs describing the way the ingredients are combined to make the cake. During this time period, religion played a major role in shaping the culture of Scotland. The Simnel cake was usually made during Lent and given out on the fourth Sunday, Mother and Sunday. It was traditionally made by daughters as a gift to their mothers who worked as servants and were given the day off to go home and visit their mothers and families. A Simnel cake is a fruit cake made with two layers of almond paste, one on the top and one in the middle. One of the main ingredients of the cake is currants. Currants are dried seedless grapes from the eastern Mediterranean region. These currants must have been imported from the Mediterranean to Scotland during the 1800s to make the cake. Simnel cake is topped with 11 marzipan balls. Marzipan is a sweet yellowish paste of ground almonds, sugar, and eggs used to make icing for cakes. Marzipan is just a different name for the almond paste used in this recipe. The 11 balls of paste represent Jesus' 11 disciples. Originally, there were 12 disciples, but Judas betrayed Jesus and he was exiled, so now they only show the 11. Overall, this cake was very important to the McQueen family during this time in Scotland because it was used to not only celebrate Mothering Sunday, but also the last day of Lent.